Hey there, basic witches. Coffee here. And today we are doing the Gemini toddler cake up. If you don't know what this is, this is where we cake on the CC onto some of our favorite Sims as they've aged up in the Lunar Zodiac challenge. And we go over some aspects of whatever that Zodiac sign is. Today we're doing Gemini, which I will warn you right now, it has a very near and dear place to my heart. I've had to record this a few times because I get a little bit sappy about it. My late sister was a Gemini. And when I do research on these, I learned more and more about her and I'm so bummed out that I can't talk to her about it, but that's okay because I know that she's probably here listening in one form or another. So let's go ahead and jump on into this. So Gemini is ruled by the planet Mercury. They hold logic, mental stimulation, and communication in extremely high regard. They are known to get bored easily if not constantly stimulated. And as Geminis are most often known for communication and their ability to babble on forever, literally, you will not get a word in edgewise, about various things, it comes as no shock that they tend to learn to speak and communicate faster than other signs of the zodiac. Even before learning to speak, do not be surprised if your Gemini child or a Gemini child that you know learns to use their hands to communicate because they are such natural communicators at their core. The Gemini child possesses a natural gift to have a mind in many places at once. This unfortunately causes them to become extremely anxious creatures. And it is because of their ability to look at things from many angles that they get that bad reputation for being two-faced. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that about a Gemini. I'm a Gemini moon, so like can relate a little bit, but I've heard that a lot. Like, oh, Geminis, they're two-faced. They have two personalities. Like they totally have a reason for it though. And it's never as negative as everybody wants to paint it. Gemini children need people around them to be solid, stable, and consistent. Gemini minds are already so active that an unstable atmosphere is only going to further clutter their minds. The result of any kind of instability in raising them is going to result in a child who overthinks things so much to a point that they're gonna fail to take action in their lives. The Gemini child also needs to have freedom of expression. This is so important, you guys. Though natural communicators, verbal may also not be their strong suit. Allow them to try writing, painting, and building creative stories with their vivid imagination because they have such a vivid, deep imagination. As gems are multifaceted individuals, parents should buy creative supplies in small quantity until their Gemini latches onto something. If a child does not feel stimulated, if the Gemini child does not feel stimulated, they will abandon creative projects altogether in search of something that better suits them. But they need to be able to try multiple things in order to come to that conclusion. Gemini's child hobbies can often lead them to their dream careers, even if they feel really far-fetched based on other people's opinions of what those things are. And they really should be encouraged from parental forces to pursue those things that give them such high stimulation because it's more often that Gemini's find find their dream job really early on. Like they'll hone that hobby into their dream job. They do also need to be taught how to balance their hobbies with proper schoolwork as well, because sometimes if you just allow them to do whatever, a Gemini child is just gonna be all about that hobby life and they will come across as being very lazy in school, even though they're extremely gifted and smart. While most children need quiet time to study, you're going to find that Gemini children have multiple need to have multiple things going on around them while they work because it helps stimulate their already active mind and it helps them focus better. So believe it or not, it's actually best for a Gemini child to work with music or television on in the background. As most children do not enter the questioning phase, as we call it, or the why phase if you're a parent, uh, most of them do enter it in their toddler years. Be prepared because Gemini is that communicator that they are going to start that earlier than most. And the questions are going to be like way more. Like you're going to have a plethora of questions to answer from them because they want to know why, 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 why? Because they're always trying to learn more. When you're out and about with your Gemini child, be sure to tell them tidbits about places and things. They have a true knack for remembering the small details like dates, birthdays, and addresses. 
does. Although information is important to Gemini, they are known to be manipulative and changeable, hence their reputation for being two-faced. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier, that it's not what you think. Uh, they do not mean to be deceptive. They're just really comfortable adapting to preferences based on their environment. This is so me, it's dumb. Like, I didn't realize my moon does that to me. Like, I am this person and I think I can come off as two-faced sometimes because my opinions will differentiate depending on who I'm around. And it's mostly just because I'm really malle malleable and so it's not, or mutable, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm just very adaptive in that way. Uh, Gemini children are not normally disobedient when it comes to rules. They do just need them to be made crystal clear to them, and they but they still need to be allowed creative freedom within those rules. And you guys know, as always, when we do a toddler cake up, we always go over the parental aspect between Cancer and Gemini because uh, Luna, our goddess, is a Cancer. And then we also always go over why, if you don't like a Gemini, it could be why. So let's talk first about that cancer parent to Gemini child dynamic. So your Gemini child's charming, playful personality brightens your life. You work hard to create a comfortable, secure home base for them. So try not to feel hurt if they seem more interested in the outside people and activities. Your little Gemini is less emotional than you and they are quite inquisitive about the world. Uh, you, on the other hand, would much prefer to stay home surrounded by family family and your comforts as like a cancer uh, your parental instinct is to guard your little one and maintain a close connection with them but for the sake of your child lease up and give them a little bit of freedom exploring and interacting with other people is a great way for your gemini to learn you know that using that communication skill basically you got to allow them to do it and last but certainly not least here if you don't like a gemini here is what that could mean for you you could be overly committed attached or dull i see dull come up a lot when people don't like gemini's <laughs> gemini the third sign in the zodiac year teaches us to break free from the comforts of Taurus's energy. Gemini forces us to begin to ask why. Though Gemini doesn't stay around long enough to actually get the answers, they are still the first to question it. Let a Gemini teach you how to wonder. So that is all we got for the cake up today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was information packed. I really tried to stick with putting the kids in yellow because to me, that is the Gemini color. That's what I associate it with. I know there are a lot of opinions on that, but that is my personal opinion that their color is yellow. So I decided to stick with it for them. And I honestly love that we have the twins. As you guys know, we based the looks off of Gemma's looks. So we also have like another Gwen hanging out actually I think we just deleted her so like it's fine but they are the twins they are still here and I love them and I love how they turned out and I hope you guys do as well and uh, I will see you guys in a future video thank you so very much for watching please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter I'm at coffee yt and over on Twitch where I stream at least once a week I'll see you guys again real soon this is coffee signing off bye you guys